Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Ask Susan with your host, myself, Susan Lazar Hart, your transformational, motivational coach in this moment today with the Congruent Living Method and introducing you to some of the tools we play with in the Congruent Living Academy. Today, we're diving into uh, a question from Bharat. And Bharat asks, uh, Susan, with this theme of Choice Creates, uh, there's so much going on in the world. I feel like creating is just futile right now. So let's explore this together, especially how our modern lifestyle, including our addiction to media and social platforms like Facebook, Netflix, impacts our creative drive. Self-care and creativity often take a back seat in our busy lives. Self-care, we might start off with self-care and then we shy away from actually going forward with our commitment to creating something different to our creative impulses. Why? Well, we're told we lack ta talent. We, we, we were brought up looking for validation that we are talented, but creativity is not just about art making. It's a fundamental expression of our humanity. So in today's world, our constant connection to media and social network has in many ways dampened this creative spark. And the time we spend scrolling through Facebook, absorbing news, being bombarded by a relentless stream of information can leave us feeling drained. It consumes the mental and emotional space that could otherwise be used for creative endeavors and just receiving. Now, I'll give you a great example of this. This morning, I walked into uh, one of my favorite coffee shops, very nurturing space, beautiful music. I'm loving the vibe of the people there. And uh, as this barista right in front of me is making a delicious coffee for me, creating one, uh, I immediately pick up my phone to check in and start answering one of my kids. And I look up at her and I just smile. I put my phone down. And I said to her, wow, that was so easy to disregard this space of creativity that we're all in right now. And she just smiled and said, yes. And I, and I said, I thank you so much for being here for this music, for creating this beautiful coffee. You see, when we're constantly plugged in, our minds are in a state of passive consumption rather than active appreciation and creation. Remember those days of childhood creativity? Hours spent coloring or drawing or simply daydreaming? How many of us were punished for uh, by being called uh, a daydreamer in a negative way or a space cadet in a ne negative way? And my mom used to say, Earth to Susan, Earth to Susan, come on down. Well, she wasn't wrong <laughs> because I did come from another universe. In any case, it, uh, those activities of just daydreaming or drawing with chalk on the sidewalk, cutting out paper figures or playing, playing is a creation. It's a creativity. Um, that's that creates a therapeutic calm and respite from this world that actually for most of us it doesn't work or you wouldn't be listening to this <laughs> yeah <laughs> in today's world it's so easy barrett to lose that connection and we often replace the calm of creativity with the instant gratification of digital content and this challenge then today uh, for this week and this month and the rest of your life is to consciously make room for creativity in your life. Remember, creativity is not just about um, painting or drawing or making music. Creativity is, is in the clothes that you choose to wear and the way that you choose to walk on this planet in this lifetime. It's about choosing activities that nourish your soul, not merely fill in time. So Barrett and everyone feeling disconnected from their creativity, I invite you to consciously step back from the digital world and dedicate time to create, to explore, to play. It could be as simple as gardening, writing, going for a walk, right? How you take in the world is a creative activity. Just, you know, going for a walk outside, playing in the snow, running in the ocean, putting your hands on a tree and just asking to receive that's creating something different. So remember, the act of creation and creating is liberating, and it is a choice. It reconnects us with the joy of being human beyond this reality and encourages us to tap in to who we truly be and let that joy, you know, this is your one true precious life. Let that joy of living 
be the creative expression of how you negotiate and play and create with your day. So let me know what pops for you in the comments below. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, remember, as we navigate through the noise and directions of modern life, let's remember the power of choice and choice creates. So choose to create, choose to explore, choose to reconnect with the parts of yourself waiting to be expressed. Remember, your creativity is a gift. It's your birthright. It's what you came here to be and do, to create something different for those that are looking to play with you. Ooh, I rhymes, I like that. So until next time, step away from the screen, pick up your tools of imagination and let your creation soar. In creating, you'll find a piece of yourself waiting to be discovered. And if you find yourself longing to break through the creative barriers holding you back, know that I'm here to help you navigate your path to creativity, to creating a life you love. Drop any questions you have in the comments below, or if you would like a more personal touch, feel free to send me a direct message, uh, write a note here, pop your questions in, and let's embark on this journey of transformation together. You can always reach me at susan at susanlazarheart.com. Until we meet again, live boldly, love greatly, and be that fearless leader you came here to be because the world needs more of you and your creative special sauce, not less. Sending lots of love. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.